Nurse Emma continues with the PIVC procedure. When the cannula punctures the vein, she observes for flashback in the cannula chamber as appropriate. She advances the IV cannula a further 2 mm along the lumen of the vein. She withdraws the introducer slightly with the dominant hand and a second flashback of blood will be seen along the shaft of the cannula. She slowly advances the IV cannula fully into the lumen of the vein. She gently pulls the introducer backwards while holding the IV cannula in position. She releases the tourniquet while supporting the device in situ and removes the stylet gently, activating the needle safety device. She holds the gauze by one corner and places it under the cannula hub to absorb blood spillage if necessary. She applies digital pressure to the vein above the cannula tip. She disposes of all sharps in the sharps bin at the point of care. If blood collection was required at this stage, Nurse Emma would connect with the appropriate safe blood collection system and adhere to ANTT and venipuncture guidelines. Nurse Emma attaches the primed needle-free bung and T-connector to the cannula hub. She flushes the IV cannula with prescribed sterile sodium chloride 0.9% using a push-pause technique, ending with a positive pressure to confirm patency. She closes the gate clamp. She discards the blood-contaminated gauze into the yellow waste bag if required. She secures the catheter with steri strips in the chevron style and places a full 12 mm steri strip, adhesive side up, under the hub of the IV cannula. She folds one end of the strip diagonally over the IV cannula. She folds the other end of the steri strip diagonally over the other side of the IV cannula and places another strip, not as long as the first, across the hub of the IV cannula. She disconnects the syringe. She secures and anchors the IV cannula further with a sterile, transparent, semi-permeable dressing. She loops the T-connector tubing and secures. Further securement of IV cannula may be necessary and is dependent on local policies. She removes the tourniquet. She observes the site for signs of swelling or leakage and asks Sarah if she is experiencing any discomfort or pain. Nurse Emma removes the disposable sheet, gloves and eye protection and discards appropriately. She performs hand hygiene. Nurse Emma documents the site of the IV cannula, its size and the date and time of the procedure. She gives Sarah a sticker. She disposes of all waste items appropriately and decontaminates the equipment as per local policy.